The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. For the most part, it's a clean sweep here on the radar at 517. You'll notice maybe a couple of stray little showers out across portions of Wythe County, right along that I-77, I-81 corridor near Withville, Fort Chiswell. Outside of that, it's all very quiet for us across southwest central and south side Virginia. And we're seeing a nice mix of sun and clouds. I want to show you that without question, the bulk of the showers and thunderstorms are staying to the west of us into the Ohio and Mississippi River. River valleys. We've got some lighter showers uh, just south of Peoria, Illinois. Heavier downpours have just pushed through Memphis and are soon heading towards Nashville. But you need to know that these showers and thunderstorms are going to, for the most part, stay to the south and to the west of southwest Virginia. Let's talk about rainfall totals so far this month. Lynchburg, you have taken the cake. You have seen so much rain in July about 10 and a third inches of rain so far. Keep in mind, normally in July, you get about 4.19 inches. You've seen more than six inches more of rain this month than you usually do in July's past. So last month in Lynchburg, you got 4.33 inches of rain, which is actually a half an inch above average too. So the last two months in Lynchburg, you've had uh, rainfall totals above average. Now in Roanoke, the numbers have not been as staggering for the month of July. You've gotten 4.30 inches of rain. The July average is right about what we've seen so far this month. And last month in Roanoke, you actually came in a little more than a half of an inch below average. We are starting to build up the rain, though, slowly but surely across the Roanoke Valley. We had a very large rainfall deficit deficit not more than about a month, month and a half ago. You need to know that rain, rain so far this year in Roanoke, we've seen about 22.38 inches of rain. The average rain by now is about 24.84 inches. So we are about two and a half inches below average still. But if you recall, not long ago, we were about five to six inches below average. Let's talk about the weekend. Lower humidity in the forecast for us here as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Saturday, Sunday look like nice days for the most part. Each day we may have to dodge a stray thunder shower or two. But by Monday, with a low pressure system getting closer to us, our storm chances start to go up. Makes sense. When you have low pressure getting close, that creates enough lift in the atmosphere to provide us better chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms. We're going to see just that on Monday. It's 78 right now with Phil Hillsville, Galax, 85 Roanoke, 88 Lynchburg. It's 90 as we speak in Danville. The temperature outlook for the next six to 10 days. If you're a fan of cooler temperatures, close your eyes. <laughs> it's going to be hot here for the next week to week and a half. Now it's not going to be especially hot here this weekend, but by next week, the mercury starts to skyrocket again. For tonight, we're not as warm nor as humid. Overnight lows tonight, about 58 to 66. For tomorrow, nice mix of sun and clouds. Can't rule out a couple of stray thunder showers after lunchtime. Highs tomorrow, 70s and 80s, more 80s than anything else. All right, friends, let's talk about the next seven days. And again, the weekend, not bad. Monday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. And just a few thunder showers Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Looks like Tuesday through Friday are going to be, you know, those typical pop up popcorn thunder showers that we see during the summertime season. Monday won't be that way. Monday could have a couple more stronger thunderstorms to dodge as a cold front pushes through. And then look at those highs by Thursday, Friday next week. Oh boy, 93. Here oh, we go again. That's nothing. Well, now, now well, where you're headed, it's going to be about oh, 10 to 15 degrees hotter than it will be here in southwest Virginia. I mean, Eagle Pass, Texas, high today was 107. It's supposed to be between Oof. about 102 and 106 while you're out there. So make sure to stay hydrated. We will be drinking lots of water. Good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but the troops are out there. Uh, we can mm -hmm. dress lightly, but the troops right. are wearing all their gear. So but mm -hmm. we're, we're going to tell that story when we come back. But, yeah, 106, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So everybody here, 93, you know. <laughs> um, I just want you to take it, like, you know, it's like it's not so bad. Right. Right. We could be in Texas. And you could have heat advisories and excessive heat warnings like right. many, much of the country right, right. now. There You're you right. Go. Mm -hmm.